Alright, time for another draft science video presentation. Alright, so, um, fractal woman. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, silly physics woman, uh, unfortunately. Um, you know, she's, she's got some good points in terms of being um, seemingly honest and... Um, uh, she does uh, like detail and different things, but yeah, underlying it all is the same problem with a lot of scientists in the past, even Leibniz, you could argue. Um, you know, they want the truth to be something different. You know, they don't want this mechanical answer. Uh, you know, they want this wooey, fractal fun kind of answer. And it just ruins their capacity to... Um, fair cop. Um, so anyway, so over three years ago, I pointed out how the ferro cell works. No one really cared to hear the truth, especially Ken Wheeler. Um, and, you know, so it didn't go very far. Um, I'll probably I'll play some of that video. Um, one of the videos, like I said, before this video. Uh, so before December of 2018, I'd already looked under a microscope and you really, once you do that, you see where the little bits are and you say, obviously this is not anything to do with magnetism in terms of changing any game changer. The little bits are doing exactly what you'd expect them to do, you know, if they were liberated in, in a sense in a fluid rather than iron filings on a piece of paper. Um, and you know, there's just no news here in terms of what the little bits are doing. And once you know that, you know the rest is just an optical illusion. It's just a, an optical trick. So anyway, so they finally she has conceded the argument. Without saying it, she's basically conceding the argument that the ferro cell is completely a pile of shit. Okay, it's not telling you anything useful. It's distorting the reality so much by a reflective distortion, okay, like a distorted mirror, um, that it's not giving you any useful information. It really, there's just nothing useful to learn about magnets by looking at them through a ferro cell. It'll tell you nothing about what's actually happening, what the lines of force are doing. Um, you know, because, you know, people talk about field lines. There are no field lines. There's just lines of force radiating from objects. Objects are radiating to the world. You're radiating lines of force right now. <laughs> Little straight lines. There's no wooey lines of anything else around you. There's just places where there's an equal amount hitting, like rays around a light bulb. You can pick a location, a certain distance from the light bulb, and all those locations will have exactly the same amount of light hitting them. So what? It doesn't mean anything's driving on that road, so to speak. So we'll play some of this just to show how lame it is in terms of a debunk. I mean, in terms of conceding, all the crap Ken Wheeler's been saying for years is crap. Everything she's said for years is crap. So instead of just saying, yes, we've been full of crap for years, and we've been um, ignoring and dismissing uh, people who attempted to explain the truth to you, <laughs> yes, yeah, that other guy, whatever he is, um, you know, science for Christ or whatever the hell he is. Yeah, he's also full of shit. So today I'm going to do a little update on the Ferrocell project that I'm working on with AV Science. Um, so whatever, I don't know what their project is. Part of the problem is this, this starting line is wrong anyway. Okay, this, these, these, this is not what you see under the Ferrocell. Ferro cells, I mean, under, you know, with the, with the actual ferro fluids doing, it's not doing this line stuff. So, you know, this image is already a distortion in terms of saying, well, this is what the basic mechanism is, because it's not the mechanism. The mechanism is pure radiation, straight lines flying out of this thing. The little bits line up. You put a north side down, they all line up like they were just rays of light coming out. They all line up going right towards the center of the... Uh, magnet. Uh, same for the south. And then when you put the magnet on edge, you can get these um, different effects. But though that isn't the most common use of the ferro cell. So, you know, this is sort of, uh, you know, this is the only image we get of 
the real magnetic fields created to explain and she should have a real good comparison just show the uh, you know iron filings in oil and you'll see that's just you know um, ferrofluid fluid even you know on a, just outside of two pieces of glass will basically show you that it's just radiating now uh, this uh, all happened around four months ago or it all started around four months ago when AB Science made a video uh, called what does the ferrocell really show or what the ferrocell um, shows yeah it was kind of a lame explanation frankly um, considering that two years before that I had already explained it <laughs> but whatever and um, and in this video he did a little simulation using um, using uh, blender to show uh, to demonstrate that what the ferro cell is likely showing the lines that we see in the ferro cell are created um, using um, specular reflect so I don't know see she keeps using this image this image has nothing to do with the ferro cell so it's it's just a it's not a useful image ferro cells don't do this and off the nanoparticles in the Ferro fluid doesn't uh, fluid do it either. Between the ferro cell, which contains ferro fluid, and so um, this project has advanced quite a bit since this simple simulation using Blender. I was able to replicate his simulation quite easily using um, using um, the exact same method that he. So uh, this is supposed to be okay. This is their first simulation, and it's just this is again showing you where the light reflects. It's not showing you what the iron filings are actually doing. So the iron filings are actually lining up. Just spiral, no, just just rays, rays, straight line rays coming out of the magnet, and at certain angles, you'll you're seeing different locations, different different um, rays will reflect light at different locations, and when you add them all up, they end up being a curved line. But there is no curved line that you're seeing. You're seeing bits hitting different rays light hitting at different rays at different locations that all end up reflecting to your eye. It's like a rainbow, okay? It only reflects at a certain angle and then, you know, to another angle. So when that angle isn't right, there's no rainbow. Same idea. ...to me after I got in contact him, with him after seeing this video. Since that time, AB has uh, developed a more, um, I'm going to say, a more scientific approach to the simulation of the light lines that you see in the ferro cell. And uh, so today what I'm going, to, I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you some of the results. I'm not going to get into the details because um, we are still working on the paper and I am still working on... So uh, are they going to write a paper, <laughs> you know, about what? Uh, that'll be interesting. Um, frankly, you know, just because I already wrote the paper, so to speak. I already made the video. Uh, <laughs> so... Um, yeah, so I mean, it's you're just all this is is this, the simulation is relying on the just doing a simple mathematical equation. It's just saying at what angle, at what line, there's a line here that's going to reflect light from a certain angle from here, bang, and then there'll be another reflection that can happen from here, bang. So what, you know, so I'll let her go a little further, and then you'll see how close what I was saying three years ago is to the actual simulation. Uh, the fine details now of the software because I think the results we have right now are quite good but um, I just want to make sure that I'm simulating my experiment as accurately as possible uh, just to make sure that we're getting um, the best results that we can out of the software and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with um, just the one the single light okay so right so this is what I discovered when I well first I didn't even use the, the microscope this is the first thing I did was just say okay if I just shine one light what do I get and I get this you know, I get this little arc light. Now, I recall I saw it doing both. I saw it going this way and that way. So, like this, the light ends up reflecting off the other side of the glass. I was using a glass slide. And so, it creates a, a mirror image, which kind of, you know, does fool you. Okay. A little, you know, I mean, it fooled me a little bit because I was trying to make sense out of the wave in the, you know, in the pattern. But this is really what each light is producing, is this little arc, so as illustrated here. So, um, the rest of our video is just more of the same, blah, blah, blah. We'll just jump through it, I suppose, and then we'll just play my video, which will be saying exactly the same thing. 
experiment. So this, I took a red laser and I placed the ferro cell on, on the magnet and I put a red laser over here pointing in towards the center of the glass and towards the center of the magnet. Right, so this whole little arc is to be, really there's straight lines going through here. So it's cutting a straight line this way. It's cutting a straight line here, straight line here, straight line. They're all just straight lines. And it's just because the angles are correct, they all go to the same location. So they end up going to your eye. So your eye sees a little piece of each one of those rays, but it sees a different location on each ray. It's a little different location. Very close to the center here, very far from the center here because of the angle created by the little piece of ferro stuff that has a, it has a bigger length than it has width. And uh, these are the results we get from the simulation, and so uh, modeled. And so, um, what I said before in my community session, yeah, it's so obvious you can see it matches. And so, um, yes, if one works, all of them work. She's saying so. Basically, this is the explanation. Each LED is creating one of these little arcs of light, and when you add them all up, it looks like something, but it really isn't anything at all. It's just optical illusion. It's a toy, and uh, it's placed in the actual pair of cells. And so, uh, as you can see, if you look very closely, you will see that um, that this is a very accurate depiction of the um, the curved lines that you see in the ferro cell. Right. All you have to do is exaggerate the width of some of these lines, which is being done by the glass. That's the function of the thick glass. The thicker the glass, the more thickness and more depth each one of those little reflected beams will have. Uh, all right, so again, so different magnets in different positions. Obviously, if you change the position of the magnet relative to the different lights, then you create a different sized arc. And, um, you know, you tend to create very little going this way because they're further away from the magnet, blah, 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 blah. Right, and you can see the simulation is uh, very accurately depicting the light together and I simulated that here <coughs> you can see that you know especially when you look at you know the direction so she's just demonstrating how accurate the simulation is blah 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 but she's really not talking about the important thing which is oh all of this crap you've heard about this having anything to do with revealing a secret of magnetism that's garbage because this isn't getting to the function at all it's just um, a distraction. It's a distortion of the truth. Uh, the center uh, up here and here, just so you could see, um, you could see how closely the match is in this region here. You can see this red region here has a sort of cross. Okay. We're getting extremely good results, in my opinion, of the um, what we see in the ferrocell. So she's sort of talking almost like she wanted this to be an answer. This, of course, is exactly not what she wanted to hear. Um, you know, it just debunks all of their theory that has anything to do with all their incommensurability and all their other crap, all the words and their hyperburloids and all that nonsense. There's none of that in the magnet. The magnet's not doing any of that crap. And it's certainly not bending light like Ken Wheeler would argue. I'll play the little ending here where she makes a tribute to AB Science. In the ferrocell. So that's all I'm going to do for now. Uh, this hypertrochoid pattern, very beautiful hypertrochoid pattern, has really been the focus of the ferro cell. This has been the, why does it make a hypertrochoid pattern? It's been the question that people have been asking. They've been asking me. They've been asking each other. They've been asking Ken Wheeler. And, you know, the only person that was able to answer that for me was this guy, AB Science. So thank you, AB. Uh, you could actually show his real image instead of his uh, whatever that is. <laughs> you know, his, his uh, name of the movie after it. His whatever. <laughs> icon. Um, what's the other word they use? Come on, I can remember it. Uh, I can't remember it. All right, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, it, you can just, fractal woman and me have had some interactions, not pleasant, generally speaking. Um, but I made these arguments. She heard the arguments three years ago, and she just couldn't have cared less. So that's the truth. You solved the problem, you solved it for me, and um, and I'm very happy at, at how this is turning out. So there's a bit more work to do. So she says that she's happy as uh, <laughs> how it turned out when it completely is counter to all of her woo theories about reality. All of that is thrown out now because, you know, she lost a big piece of uh, woo evidence. And so that's just... Um, 
bullshit on her part that she's um, you know that this resolution is uh, has something to do with reclamating or saving her fundamental theories it does exactly the opposite it's a piece of evidence against not a piece of evidence for I'm still trying to fine-tune the um, code so that I can more accurately match the uh, physical experiment that I'm doing in my in my office here but for the most part I am quite happy with these results and uh, I hope you all will be quite happy uh, to see how far we have come since the original yeah so and there, so, the, so what's really she just did in this video is debunked every single one of Ken Wheeler's videos for the last five years I mean you know on, on magnetism in the ferro cell She's just pointing out how everything Ken Wheeler says is wrong and inaccurate and a lie and a pile of crap. I would argue it's all lies just because I know he knows certain things that he's not telling people, especially with his little solar. He did a solar ferro cell you know, where he's using sunlight. And he lies and pretends that, oh yeah, he didn't put little holes in to duplicate the LEDs, when of course he did. Um, but anyway... Um, all right, so that's enough of that. So we'll play my what, three three year. It's a, it's a three year old at least. It was more than three years ago. Okay, because this is like close to the couple months before I had to move, and I wasn't playing with the microscope then, so it had to be, you know, much earlier that I was doing the microscope thing. And so when I did the microscope thing, that I drew the conclusions about how this thing works and so you'll change how the pattern looks but the standard pattern is being created by this and it's being and so essentially when there's a light coming from a, an angle underneath it's there's one um, so, so a little ferro bit would be you know shaped something like this and what's happening is the light is obviously reflecting off the surface and the thickness of the ferrule material is dictating how thick the light is. So, you know, and obviously the thickness of the glass gives you the illusion of more depth. But it's just because there's a specific reflecting angle. So what's happening is the light is just creating an arc. And that arc is perfectly consistent with the alignment of the little ferrule bits in the sense that the end. Okay, so the line isn't exactly going where it's supposed to, but, you know, close enough, right? The idea is there, it's already stated what's causing the effect, and, um, you know, just, just saying, people couldn't care. Look, look at the ratings on the video, right? 15 thumbs up, 24 thumbs down. It's the right answer, and the internet says it's the wrong answer. So just understand how reliable these judges are. Because they took something that was actually correct, it's going to be proven to be absolutely the truth, exactly how it does function. This is exactly the right answer. And what does the internet say? No, by two thirds, it's the wrong answer. That's how much you can trust the people on the internet, the majority on the internet. The majority is showing just how dumb they are, you know, right there. It's evidence of their fallibility. It's pretty, it's pretty bold, right? There's not too many videos that have, you know, 33% more thumbs down than thumbs up. You know, you have to work at it to have a video with those kind of bad numbers. Just saying. The reason why there's probably these bad numbers is that I did do the second half was on D. Hilster. And he has a bunch of sock accounts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a, see, it just shows that I was right about the character of that band also, right? I mean, how, how low, how, how little character do you have to have if you're going to use sock accounts? I mean, that's just right there. As soon as you're doing that, you're just such a cheater. I've never had a sock account in my life. I've never had any account I was using where somebody wouldn't know who I was, ever, ever on the internet. I don't even have any, I don't even have a, I don't have a fake email address. I don't have a fake anything. I mean, these people are just so, ew, ew. Angles are right to reflect the light to your eye. So if you combine the angle of your eye and then the, you know, the angle you're coming, you're looking at with the angle to the light, which is in this case down and in a direction, when you combine those angles, the angle of reflection will be the same for these vectors. 
So it's just a combination of the angle to your eye, okay, so your eyes over here, combined with the orientation of the bit and the direction of the light. And when those things are all the same, then you see the photon. When they're not the same, you don't. So at one angle, you'll see the light. So it's like the, it's like the booster angle. It's some specific angle for which you'll get the light that will come to you instead of light going someplace else. You know? So like a rainbow, blah, 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 blah. Over here, over here, over here, over here. Comes to you when it's that one angle. Um, and that's all there is. There's no, there's no magic to this at all. There's no, you're not seeing the magnetic field. You're seeing a distortion of it. You're seeing a perversion of it. It's, it's, not, it's not an accurate representation. It's, so there was, there's nothing in the magnetic field doing this curved line. There's no piece of what magnetism's doing that's creating this curved line. There's no essence of it. There's nothing. It's just an obscure, tiny, mathematical, um, you know, reflective index kind of thing. So it's just like, you know, it's like seeing people, you know, potato chips look like Richard Nixon or something. It's, well, it's not that random, but it's... You know, there's a symmetry built into the pattern, and so the pattern can create, um, you know, other symmetrical um, derivations. But they have nothing to do with anything that's actually in the functional part of the pattern. It's just uh, uh, incidental. Like me making, you know, I, I could turn this video into an outline video, you know, or I could do just contrast, you know. Harsh black and white. Yeah. So that's probably not even a good analogy because then there's still some real relevance to the actual video. It's you know I have to get to some point where it's like just the stripes are showing in the video or some some way of saying there's but see but that would actually have something real. This is so distant that it doesn't have anything. There's no real component to that curved line that isn't a huge abstraction. You know that isn't. Uh, abstract to the actual function. I could do lots of things to manipulate this video, and it wouldn't be representing me, it'd just be representing me perverted, you know, by how you reflect light off of me, or how you interpret the light that's coming off of me. So but that's all there is here. There's nothing, the, the, the ferro cell is not revealing the magnetic field. It's not showing you the truth. It's showing you a distortion of the truth. It's showing you a, a manifestation of, of optical effects. But it's not reality. It's, it's like a, it's like a mir mirage in the desert. It's not true. It's like you're seeing something in the vapor. You're not seeing something on the land. It's a distortion of reality. And it should be just known for that. It's a toy. It's a nice little visual toy. But it's not a scientific instrument. It's not, it's not a telescope. It's not a microscope. It's not showing you the truth. That's really all. I shouldn't have to say any more than that. I mean, the images speak for themselves. Like I said, just look. I'll post a link to her video. Just look at it. Because you'll see it in its crudest form. This is the crudest you get. They're just dull little arcs of light and eat right so this was actually a response to um you know fractal woman's uh, videos where she was still asserting that she was looking at uh something real you know something in uh you know there's something the magnetic field was um that there was some connection you are amazing well that's you know <laughs> kind of a weird comment uh, can I call you Mr. Truth? Well, at least those were good comments. It was three years ago, so, yeah. I uh, don't get much of that anymore. All right, so anyway, just making the point. I was there first. I had the right answer. I got treated like shit, uh, at least in the ratings on the video. And certainly didn't get any rational response from Fractal Woman in terms of explaining what you could do. And again, it's something she knew could have known. Everybody knows Ken Wheeler has seen probably every Ferro Cell video, right? Or lots of them. And there's people who have looked at the Ferro material under um, a microscope. All right. Now, some of them are kind of bogus just because they don't really show the whole thing. They don't put a small enough magnet, show you know what's really going on. And they put music to it and show them moving. And it's all like some art video. Um... So anyway, so somewhere earlier than this, I did do, I did show the images, um, you know, that I got, some of them. And, um, you yeah, they're but they're not any different than any of the other microscopic in, images. And you just see that the ferro bits are just lining up lengthwise. They're not making any patterns. They're just radiating from the magnet. <sighs>
that's it. Okay, so, um, enough of a video. So, it's too bad AB Science has, you know, wasted a bunch of energy on this when he should waste time uh, making some kinetic energy proof or even explaining how the double slit isn't the four source experiment. <laughs> yeah. But instead of that, he's, you know, can't say it's a wasted time because the proof is good. It's good to have a, just so you know mathematically what goes in and that this is the result and it mimics the actual pattern seen. So clearly that's the right answer. It's just light reflecting and it's not reflecting off anything obviously produced by the magnet. It's an abstraction. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of some way to point out how it doesn't look the way it should. It's like I, you can have something and then you could cast the shadow and the shadow doesn't look anything like, you know, the actual shape of the thing because you turned it, you know, and you lost all of its essence and, well, something. There's probably some good analogy for just how, how much of a distortion it is from anything that's actually happening, that the magnet's actually doing. The magnet's not doing any of this. The magnet's creating radial lines, lines of force, straight lines. All right. So anyway, till the next time, I guess that'll be enough and such. Uh, yeah, that's enough. All right. So till the next time, this has been a draft science video presentation talking pretty much to things as dumb as the wind if they aren't actual wind. So if I'm not talking to the wind, I'm probably talking to something just as dumb. Just as incapable of um, deciphering uh, you know, English words and uh, you know, applying um, honest evaluation to their structure. <laughs> yeah. They're just science deniers. It is funny. Yeah, my audience is mostly science deniers. Yeah. All right, till the next time, such.